Shalom. I am Rabbi Nathan David David speaking to you on behalf of the webyeshiva.org from Ephrat, Israel. I want to wish all of our friends, American friends, a uh, happy Thanksgiving and wish everybody a Chodesh Tov uh, as this is the beginning of the month of Kislev. In this uh, short of our Torah, I'm going to be speaking about this week's Parsha, Parsha Toldot, and connect the illusion that we have in this uh, Parsha, the allusion, A-L-L, allusion in this Parsha to Thanksgiving. And talk about how the binding, uh, I'm sorry, how the blessing of Esau by Isaac teaches us some very important lessons uh, about blessings in general, gratefulness in general, and Thanksgiving, what Thanksgiving is about. This part should begins with Yitzchak, Isaac, realizing that he's getting older in age, and he says to his son, Esau, he says, look, I don't know when I'm going to die. So therefore, he says, Va'ata, now, Sana kelecha, talecha v'kashtecha, raise up your bow, lift up your bow and your, your weapons, your sword. Let's say I saw to go out to the field, but tzudali tzida, and hunt for me uh, some food. And he says to Esau, he says, v'aseli matamim kashrahavti, make me the delicacies that I love. Bring it to me. He said that so sort of bring these these delicacies to me so that I can bless you before I die. These are these are strange strange things. What is going on here? First of all, why is it necessary for Isaac to tell Esau, go ahead and bring me delicacies so I can bless you? Second, why is Esau being blessed? Esau is the older son, but Yitzchak knows, Isaac knows that he's really not been living a good life. He's really been doing bad things, robbery, murder. And he's got another son, Yaakov, who's a perfect son, who lives in a spiritual world. Why is the blessing to him? So that ultimately, uh, we see Yaakov was trying to get the blessing by hiding himself as, disguising himself as Esau. But why would Yitzchak want to give the blessing to Esau in the first place? Next question that is raised is why does it say lift up your, your bow and your weapon, your, your sword? It should say take your weapons. And it says go out to the field and hunt for food. Why send him to the field? What's the significance of the field? And if he wanted delicacies, you know, they got food in storage. Why don't he just tell him, go get from the food downstairs in storage or wherever it's kept. Why go out and hunt? All these questions. And there's a number of, number of interesting comments on this that tie into, into Thanksgiving and tie into the reasons that Yitzchak wanted to give the blessing to, to Esau. First of all, Yitzchak understood that his other son, Yaakov, was already in a high spiritual level, that he wasn't concerned with the materiality of this world. But Yitzchak knew that it was important for Esau and other people who are concerned with materiality to be able to raise that materiality up to a higher level. But in order to do that, he's got to go through a process of tshuva. So he starts by saying va'ata with an ayin. Ata with, with an ayin means, means now, but it also refers to do tshuva, to repent. And lift up your weapons. He says, these are weapons that you've used for all kinds of bad things. You have the ability to take those vessels that you've used for bad and raise them up for good. Raise them up for good. Why tell him to go out and get the delicacies? And rather than taking what's what's available, he wanted to let him understand that 
you have to make an effort to do what is right. And then when you bring these things, you will see the res reciprocity of giving thanks. He teaches them a lesson in thanks. He tells them to go to the field. What is the field? The uh, it's written in the uh, book, uh, the Sefer Katava HaKabbalah by Rabbi Yaakov Tzvi Mecklenburg in 1839. He says that the, the field really refers to the holy place because we see earlier in the Chumash that Yaakov was using the field, going out into the field uh, to, to pray uh, to a holy place. He's telling him, go to a holy place and bring back holy food. Lift yourself up to a higher level. He understood that he had to impart the message to Esau and to everybody else that we are living in this world of materiality. And in living in this world of materiality, we don't have to forget God. We can take this materiality and raise it up to the level of serving God. Raise it up to a level, as the Tivo Cholom says, how, do was, how does a human being reach a level of holiness? He says, Kadesh atzvacha make yourself holy with those things that are permitted. But he's teaching a very important lesson. Go and bring these things to me so that I will give you the blessing. You bring these things to me, my spirit will be raised, I will thank you for it. And you will see the benefit of thanking somebody, the benefit of gratitude, the, the concept of being grateful for all that God gives us is, a, is a, a concept that we have to learn and we have to strive for every day, not just once a year on Thanksgiving, but every single day to be thankful for what you have, to thank God for the good and what even appears to be bad, because we don't know ultimately what the sole purpose of life is. We don't know what's good and what's bad. But the Elimel Havlizensk says that if somebody is grateful and thanks God for what he's given, for the gifts that he's given and we're showered with many gifts, he will be merited to receive more gifts. But he says if somebody is not thankful, uh, not thankful for what he has and is always complaining, he's not going to get the gifts. So the, one of the lessons that we learn from this parsha, from the, the, con, the, the give and take between Yitzchak and Esau and the concept of thanksgiving is that we have to be grateful. We have to be grateful, not just at this moment that we happen to be celebrating the holiday of thanksgiving, not this particular moment when we have beautiful food and delicacies in front of us, but at all times. At all times, thank God for what we have. Don't complain. Be grateful for everything that God gives us. And even if you don't know how something that God gives us is for the good, thank him for it anyway. That's the key to what the Torah is teaching us. The Torah lessons that were taught thousands of years ago apply to this very day. I thank you all for listening on behalf of the Web Yeshiva. I wish everybody... Uh, a happy Thanksgiving, a Chodesh Tov. This is the month of uh, month of Kislev, the month where Hanukkah falls. This is the time when we can take the light of the Hanukkah menorah inside of us, internally, and spread that light to everybody. Make your face shine when you're seeing people. Make other people happy. Thank you for listening. Chodesh Tov and Shabbat Shalom.